So what are we going to do? We're going to start by inserting the bearings. So we're going to take pieces out of the way. I'm going to put the bearings in. Now that this is going to go on the bottom like this and then this will be on the other side. So we need to put the bearings in so that they're out on towards the outer side. So we'll lay these flat on the inside. We're going to pop our bearings in. So make sure they're flush with the inside and a little proud on the outside if anything. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little CA glue. You can go to Home Depot. You can get the really good expensive stuff. It all works about the same. And I'm just going to quickly put these in here. Now I've got a bearing here and a bearing here. This is where my stepper motor is going to go. So I'm not going to mess with that. So I'm just going to put a little glue around the outside so that we don't get this. We don't want to put it inside the bearing because it will make it stop rolling. And these don't need to be really fast bearings like on a spinner because we're only going a little bit. Okay. Now I've got glue almost. Yeah, that should be fine. Now I'm going to leave that set for a few minutes and we're going to let it dry. Now it's crazy glue and it still takes oh longer than longer than I like but let's go ahead and clean some of that off just wipe it off. Now if you have the activator you could spray it on here but I'm looking and it's pretty warm out here and I got a fan going so it's actually curing pretty quickly and let's go ahead and set those aside now what we're going to do is i cheated i did this ahead of time what you would do is you would take one of your long bolts you get three of these you're going to set it inside of let's see if i have a, there we go. have another one you're going to set it inside just like that and you're going to make sure that it's centered and I just used a little CA glue went around it like I did with the bearings and I made sure that it was straight so when I rotate this that's pretty straight fairly simple to do it sits in there really tight you can see I can pick it up and it pops out okay so We've got this one glued. Next step is we need to combine these two pieces and these two pieces. That's going to be real simple. We're going to match up the D. And we might, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to just grab my, uh, let's see, is this going to be the right size? Thing? Yeah, there we go going to grab my stepper. I'm going to put these on. That way they're lined up in the right orientation. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my uh, acrylic weld and I'm going to oops, let's try and keep these somewhat together and I'm just going to put a little acrylic weld on there let it sit for a few minutes actually cool yeah it won't slide all the way down there I want to make sure that the gears are meshed up push it a little bit hold for a little bit then we're going to pull it off and we're going to set that aside and we're going to let that cure next thing we're going to do is we're going to 
put these two together. Now you'll notice we want to make sure that this is the same thing. You want to make sure the gears are meshed. And we can just kind of rotate it till it looks good. And don't do that. There we go. Get these meshed up. And again. Now it doesn't cure instantly, so it's not real important, but we do want to get some on there, and you can see they're sticking together already. Yep, they're sticking together already, and so we're just going to line it up and set this aside. Alright, so next we're going to, let's see, we've got the two gears, we're going to combine the so what we're going to do we've got these that are drying these that are curing the weld we're going to take this gear and we're going to put it in here it may require some a little bit of uh, filing okay and we're going to just put this once we get it in there pretty solid, we can weld it. Let's set it up on its end. So we've got that connected. That'll just cure. Takes a minute. Now we've got to put the spacers move this out of the way. We're going to put the spacers, that's these things, we're going to put those on here because this goes on the top. This is going to fit, these are going to go like this. And it's better to put the spacers on now because if you try and put them on it later, it's not going to be fun. So, we'll pop these side to side. We know that these are the tops where it needs to go. I'm going to grab a bolt and put it through there. Put the spacer on. Grab another bolt. Put it through. Put the spacer on. That way they're lined up and not going to go anywhere. And we can just come in here with our weld and put a little bit on there. And the capillary action tends to just pull the weld right in. Doesn't take much, I'm just using a few drops. Okay, we're going to let that sit. Now, once we've got the spacers on there, we're going to let everything kind of cure a little bit. This takes about five minutes or so for the cure to, for the weld to cure. We'll push it down a little bit, make sure we've got them snugged on there. Looks good. Everything's looking good. We've got our gears. Those look like they're joining. Those look like they're joining. So, we're almost to start to assemble. Okay, let's go ahead and pull those out. Let that sit. Pull that out. Let that sit. The next step is going to be, let's see. Move these out of the way. We're going to take our bottom plate. This is where the uh, quarter 20 screws can come up. We're going to put this on top and we're going to brace it. Let's see, I'm going to do it this way because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to bring my speed square in. It will help keep me somewhat square. And I'm just going to take my weld needle open there we go take my weld and I'm just going to squeeze it in here 
and you can see it joining it. Okay, I'm going to let that set up before I do the other side because you want it. Push it in there, give it a little drain. There we go. Check both sides. Looks pretty square. Okay, now this stuff does cure pretty quick, but I want to make sure it's really done before I add that second part on. So I'm going to grab my top part. And these are pretty much snugged on there. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put this in here, flip it around, move this slightly out of the way. It is square does a couple things. It keeps it square, but it also keeps it from flopping over. Now, you want to make sure that before you do this point, this part, you want to check to make sure it fits, that you m might need to do some filing, but you want to do the filing before you try and join it. If there's too big of a gap, it will not seal. Good. Now this one we can cheat a little bit because it's short, and we can do the other side now. Now notice I have the spacers on the inside, but that, that sits on there really well. Now I'm going to have to kind of push in a little there. I might have to come around from the other side just to make sure I get enough weld in here. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna push that down, bring this up, make sure I'm square. Don't want it leaning in, don't want it leaning out. Square it up. Kind of a hard one to square unless you have a really small square, but that it's gonna eyeball that. That looks good. So let's swap back to the other side. Now you'll notice which side I have the gears on. They have to go on. We're looking at it this way. They it's on my right, your left. Okay. And that's the same side as the gear coming down. So they line up that way. Let's bring this over. Make sure we're fitting well. Looks good. This is the definitely most difficult one to get into. At least for me. Let me just go from either side. And I'm still learning how to use this weld, but I like it a lot. Okay. That's setting up, looking square. So that one's looking pretty good. I'll set that one aside. So we've got our top. Part assembled, our bottom part pretty much assembled. Right, the next part, we, melt, we did the salt size on the top, size on the bottom. Now we need to attach the stepper motor, but we need to let that thing kind of sit for a bit. Now you'll notice my stepper motor only has three screws, 
that's because there's only three holes over here and we, but it should be a good hold. And you want to make it so that the wires go towards the back. Now this is the front and this is the back. So you want the wires going this way to the back. So we'll pop that in there. Since this one is on there fairly well, we should be able to just put a little screw on the hex and let's see, there we go. Now, one thing you may want to do, and you should do this before you assemble it, but you can probably do it after, is you may want to countersink these holes just ever so slightly. That way it will these will sit flush and they won't interact with your gears. Um, these two that we put together we'll put them, that gear on goes right there. We put our second gear goes through the hole and it meshes with those teeth. Now actually let's pull that out because we're going to want to spin this. Now to mount this it's really simple. There's a place for the nut to fit here and you just put that on there and you just spin it in. But before you do that, let's do one thing. We need to put a washer in here. So we got one there, one here. this on again, plenty of practice. There we go, and now, there we go, see that gear spins really nicely. And it's pretty straight, good job. Okay, now we can put this back on if we want, and you'll see that it, it, it moves nicely. So, two more gears to go, we have two more bolts, we have more washers, more nuts, now our bearings are snug in there, and you'll notice that this fits really snugly. Try it first with just a washer on each side. We might need to put a washer inside there, but it will depend on your, the fit that you have with your when you put it together. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put a bear a uh, washer right here in between the bearing and the spacer that way we'll for sure clear the gear now you'll notice I have this rotated fairly far forward that's so that we can get the hole to line up Do that. Then we can get that gear lined up. There we go. Now we secure the other side. 
going to again put a I'm going to put the screw through, go through the bearing. Okay, here is a photograph of the wiring for the stepper motors. You'll notice that if you start over here by the USB, it goes red, black, blue, green. You more than likely will have to cut off the end of one of the terminal of the terminal block, and I would suggest you strip and tin the wires a little bit. That way, when you put them in here into the screw terminals they will stay more secure. Again, this is going to probably be covered in a uh, shrink wrap type material. There will be a hole cut out here and you're going to start from the USB and go red, black, blue, and green. Okay, so we have the camera tilt with the camera on it. We have it plugged in to USB and then we have our switch takes the camera down or tilt no, or up which is tilting it up going down and going tilting it down with the back going up note that it tilts here this is your axis which means that you can have a smaller hole on the front of your your photo booth and also it changes the perspective best. 